Well, hi everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I am making some spaghetti with a different kind of sauce today. Um, I started the sausages already, and I'm going to cut the bacon. I'll cut the bacon while I'm talking to you. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. Cut this. this is on the table and I'll cut this. And then I will. Uh, I'm making with a cheese sauce, cheese and butter sauce, which is kind of different, I know, but I don't like tomato sauce. So. And when this is done, I'm going to take these out and turn this off for a minute. Got my water boiling for my uh, spaghetti. Now these are the hot sausages. Not cerezo or linguica, but it is a hot Italian sausage. So that's off. So that's off for a minute. And I'll chop this up, then I'll turn it back on. <sighs> so, this is today's Sunday. I didn't go anywhere today. I was, I wasn't. <laughs> You know what I did? I'm going to turn it, bring it down just a little bit so you can see me chopping up the bacon. It's just some, some, some small bacon, but I have this. I know. Uh, I was up last night and I watched the Michaels. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that or not. It's a comedy, actually, but it's a good movie. It's not just comedy. It's about a girl and you know, she wants Michael or something and for her boyfriend and this lady who does her nails told her that's, you know, who it was, but it wasn't that one at all. But anyway, she was, and she was having a girlfriend with um for, with her wedding. So you know, it's really good. And then I watch a, a Stranger Calls. And that was in black and white and that was really, really good. It was with Betty Davis and a few other people that I don't remember because it's been so long. But um, it was actually, it was black and white, but it was good. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to take a piece of it. I'm going to turn this back on. And I'm going to put... back one. This has got oil in it already. So I really don't need the olive oil. Oh here it is right here. I gotta get fire. I gotta get some more butter from outside too. So first I'm gonna put about Three or four teaspoons, tablespoons rather, of butter in there. I'm cleaning this out and then I'll get the other butter. Okay, so I put 
three tablespoons, but I'm going to need a little bit more butter. So it depends upon how the butter looks and how you want it to look. Then you take a swig of Pepsi. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, you can if you want to. So I'm going to put a little bit more butter in. I'm going to fill this out. Put down the chest. This one here has the toast that I'm going to make the breadcrumbs out of. Here, the winter for the butter is in the sink. I'm going to put another couple of tablespoons in it. And my water is boiling for this today. So I got all together I put in five tablespoons of butter. And like I said, it's already got the oil. If you want to put some more olive oil in it, then you can. And then when this butter bag melts down, then you're going to put in. Don't forget to put some oil in your, your water for your um, spaghetti. Okay, I'll put that in a minute. Now, you're going to get your cream. You're going to put it in. Creaming, and put your seasoning in. Okay, that's cooking. Forgot the seasoning. I'm gonna be right back. And I have garlic. Okay, it should be over here. Come on, seriously? You should have everything out. Well, oh, it's okay. That's why. So, I'm sorry. Sorry, I forgot this evening. So, I'm going to put some garlic powder. Season salt first. Just a little. But it's half a teaspoon full. I'm going to turn this down too. I'm going to put some onion powder. And then some Italian seasoning or oregano, if you will. Okay, that should be enough for the tablespoon of that. And then mix that around and then start putting in the cheese. Now, I don't ever keep anything out of the refrigerator, so you have to forgive me on that one. But I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in my spaghetti because the water is ready.
Now, I know some people break theirs, but I don't. I probably should, but I don't. They said that, I was watching something on, on, on television, and they say that you shouldn't break it. Let me get my cheese. Argentos for cheddar, for steak cheddar. It's um, sharp, mild, Vermont sharp cheddar cheese in Wisconsin. So I use this one. Asiaduro. mozzarella. A bunch of that. That's pretty much undone in the cheese. Put these back in the refrigerator. This melts down. I start to put back the sausage.
When you put in the bacon. Ready. Then the spaghetti should almost be ready. We got a few more minutes. We'll give the spaghetti a few more minutes and then we'll plate it. on the plate, which is something I didn't do the other day, and I'm sorry about that, but so how's everybody doing while I'm waiting for the spaghetti to cook? How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. Oh, I gotta go to the dentist this week. I know that it's gonna be a just oh, an uphill battle with this dentist. It's not gonna be a battle, but you know what I mean. Just having to go to the dentist and get a tooth pulled and get one filled and get shots and all that kind of stuff. It's not fun. I'm not afraid of needles or anything like that, but I don't like them either. So, to be able to check the spaghetti now. So give up the Pepsi and drink juice and water that's what I think but I don't drink any hard liquor or anything like that and I love Pepsi I, but I still don't drink it like I used to I could go through a case my son and I could go through a case today very easily but my son has become a vegetarian and um, so he doesn't drink, so I don't know. So I don't know if he drinks Pepsi or not. I meant to ask him. Today's his birthday, too, by the way. I sent him a happy birthday already. But he's in California. Let's try this again. So by the time I go over and get the plates and everything, that should be ready. So, 
hoping that you will show me some things about what you might want to see me cook as well. Because I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Really wise, wasn't it? I was gonna actually take it with my hand. Hmm. That was cute. Well, not so cute, but. So that's odd. Now, the other thing that they say you don't do is rinse off your spaghetti either. Which my mother never did anyway, so I don't really know where they got that from, but but she she never did so. Now I'm going to plate it. Very simple. Oh I got the breadcrumbs. But we'll do that after. Putting the bread comes on. I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano on it. I'm gonna bring it over and show it to you. So that this is what it looks like. It has the bread on top of it and also has some hanging off of it. That's the mozzarella, but that's what it looks like. And that's my spaghetti. So if you like this, like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And I'm going to take one to my husband and have myself some best time. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.